Hello friends and family, thanks for joining me as always as I continue my study to become fluent in the Igbo language of Southeast Nigeria, one of which I'm glad to say is my ancestral people. And so with that, of course, you know, being a black American and discovering these things, you want to reconnect to the fatherland. And I thank all the people that have been helping me and quizzing me and uh, correcting me along this path of almost a year as far as studying the language. So thank you for joining me. I'm just going to complete up the module I call uh, School in the Igbo Language of Nigeria. And it's going to be numbers 101 to 116. In other words, items 101 to 116. And that should conclude my studies uh, thus far on school and everything related uh, the schooling in, again, the Igbo language of Nigeria. Uh, so let me get started here and uh, be a shorter vid video than normal, but this is one of the past times I like to quiz myself because if you don't practice, you don't do very well. Uh, but in order to um, go forward, the first word will be to draw. So again, most of everything I'm going to deal with today are in relation to actions, meaning, meaning verbs. Uh, to draw would be ise. Ise to draw. Now remember with Ebo, you have the diacritics, which are the letters with uh, dots underneath it. It's probably the best way of saying it. And that one that you're looking at that looks like an I, it's uh, actually pronounced as an E in English, but a real high tone E. Because again, remember Ebo is a tone language, so it's not just what you say, it's how you say it. And so we see that little tone, that little marker under the bottom of the letter. Uh, of what's look like an I, you actually go up in your voice. So it's ise, not ise. That's different. Ise for draw. So again, it's ise for draw. And of course, those letters that look like E's to you in English, uh, those are actually pronounced like an A sound, like a hard A sound. So that's why you hear me saying it different than what looks on your screen. So again, it would be ise for draw. Ise for draw. To draw, that is, being a verb. Okay. The next one is to drop out of school. God forbid anyone does actually drop out of school, but uh, there is a, to, uh, a term for it. Again, anytime you see that I diacritic type character right there, um, you're actually talking about a verb. So you're talking about action. So that's one of the ways that you know that you're talking about an action verb if it starts with that I diacritic letter there. Uh, so to say drop out, you would say, Ida Chapel. Again, Ida Chapel is drop out. Ida Chapel to drop out. Again, I'm not prideful if you're a native speaker of the language. Of course, I take corrections, as you know. It's the only way that you can get better is by dropping your pride and uh, fixing things um, as you come along the way. All right, to erase, of course, you're going to erase things off the chalk, chalkboard or the whiteboard. So uh, this would be ihi chasi, ihi chasi to erase. Again, ihi chasi to erase. And again, you're probably saying, well, what's the difference between the I diacritic and the other I there that I'm just calling them I's in English. I know that's not the proper way to pronounce them in the Igbo. Just trying to keep it simple. Uh, one is real high pitch and one is not a high pitch. So the one with the di uh, diacritic or the dot underneath will be E. And the other one that looks like an I would be E. So it's a little bit different the way that you say it. So it would be E he chassis to erase. E he chassis to erase. So my voice changes as I uh, pronounce those characters. Okay, to fail. God forbid again that anybody fails school, but there is a term for it. It would be Ida to fail. Ida to fail. Again, Ida to fail. Okay, to learn, which we all go to school for. And um, again, you'll see that I diacritic, but you also see at U with a diacritic. In other words, it's um, a dot under the U makes that an O sound. Okay, not a U, but an O sound. So it would be emo to learn, emo to learn. Again, that would be emo to learn. Okay, 
to pass. Again, what we all want to do when we take a class in school or graduate, you got to pass. Uh, so that will be igafe. Again, igafe means to pass. One more time. Igafe, to pass. Again, a verb, as you know. Okay, to play. Pretty much every young kid's um, uh, goal in school is to at least have some time to play, which we studied before would be ezumike, which means re uh, recess. Ezumike is recess, but uh, we're talking about the verbs here. So another, what do you do during research? Recess, you play. So to say to play, you would be igwu egwu to play. Igwu egwu to play. So again, igwu egwu to play. Okay, to read. Of course, you want to definitely do a lot of that in school and come out being a bright, shining star as far as your reading skills. Uh, so to read, you would say igwo. Nope, I said that incorrectly. Let me correct myself. It's ego to read. Ego to read. Once again, it's ego to read. Okay, to register is a little bit more involved um, because you basically have to describe a concept. So you're going to have a little more words than you would have in English. So you would have three words instead of two. So to register, you also have to remember about vowel dropping that we studied in the past. When you have two uh, vowels that come together between two different words, you actually drop one. So the first word, ide banye, you would drop that last e on banye and combine it with aha. And so you end up with a word that would be ide banyaha, na kuokwa. Okay, that's ide banyaha, na kuokwa, to register. And as you know, I like to study the literal meaning of each word because it helps me remember them for myself. And so let's do that. So ide banye is one of the root words and it means to register. Aha means to uh, say name and na kuokwa, which means to put something in a book. Okay. All right, so that's how you get the whole concept of to register. What you're really saying literally is that to register a name in a book. In short, in English, it means to register. So again, let me try to pronounce it. Once again, it's one of the more difficult ones for me to um, uh, pronounce because of the vowel dropping. Um, but it's ide banyaha na kuokwa, to register. Ide banyaha na kuokwa, to register. Okay, to show up, you also have to drop a vowel uh, because you have two words coming together and two vowels coming together. So, in that first word, ngosi, you would drop the uh, i, which makes that e sound. So, you, you wouldn't, it would no longer be ngosi when you say the two words together, but it means to show up. So, you would say ngosonwe to show up. In go son way to show up. It wouldn't be in go see own way. It would be in go son way to show up. Okay, as you bring the two words together. So remember, it's just the same concept as if you have a contraction in English. Again, I like to use the example all the time that you don't say do not in English a lot. You say don't. So when you put the two words together, you get a different word, but it means the same thing. So the same thing with this uh, concept in Igbo, you drop a vowel to bring the two words together. Uh, so again, uh, to show up would be ingo son way to show up. Ingo son way to show up. Okay, we talked about uh, to register, but the sign up is very similar as well. Um, because you're using two of the, of the three of the same words that we talked about already. Uh, so again, remember, ide banye, you drop that last e when you combine it with aha. So remember, ide banye means to register, and aha means a name. So to register a name means to sign up in English. 
So again, you drop that vowel and it would be Ide Banyaha to sign up. Ide Banyaha, sign up. Again, it's Ide Banyaha to sign up. Hey, last few. To study is Emo to study. Emo to study. Again, it's Emo meaning to study. To teach, uh, the word, uh, the subject is, to be a teacher is inkuzi. And so to teach, you convert that to a verb. So again, you're putting the, um, the I diacritic character onto the word, so it makes it a verb instead. So instead of saying inkuzi, which means teacher, to teach, you would say ikuzi, to teach. Ikuzi to teach. So remember that I diacritic is a high E sound and the I by itself is like a low E sound. Because remember, you're talking about a tone language. So again, to teach is ikuzi to teach. Ikuzi to teach. Okay, to test is inwale. Inwale to test. So again, it's inwale means to test. Last one of two. To think, uh, you would say, Iche achiche. Iche achiche. Oops, actually I said it incorrectly. Let me correct myself. It's Iche achiche. Iche achiche, to think. So again, it's Iche a chiche to think. Okay, one more time. Iche a chiche to think. Okay, last one before we uh, conclude the video would be to write. Again, we're talking about verbs, so it would be ide to write. Ide to write. Once again, and last time, ide to write. So again, thank you for joining me as I continue to learn my ancestral tongue. Remember, I'm a student, not a teacher. So uh, if, you, if, of course, you're more fluent in language, feel free to correct me and offer any tips for that. I learn the language appropriately as well. Have a good night. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.